write the correct formula equation, complete ionic equation and net ionic equation for the reaction between cobalt two chloride and sodium hydroxide. Okay, so cobalt two chloride and you can put this as solid or aqueous, right? But eventually you're going to want it to be aqueous. So sometimes on those problems, you might see it as solid. You gotta remember that'll be aqueous. Um, plus, what do we say, sodium hydroxide? Or, yeah, sodium hydroxide. Goes to, well, so this is where you've got to know what it's going to go to. Yes. Okay. So how do I know that? Does anybody know what the products would be? What kind of reaction is this going to be? Double replacement. Double displacement reaction. So what do they do? They do the dosi do They switch partners, right? So what is going to be the react the product? Sodium chloride. So sodium chloride and cobalt hydroxide. Yes. Okay. So CO. But what's the oxidation state of cobalt here? Two. Two. And what's the oxidation, or what's the um, charge on hydroxide? Negative one. Negative one. So what do we have to have? It's cobalt. That, right? Okay. Is this insoluble, this thing? You guys know? I want to say it's insoluble. It's insoluble. Hydroxides, okay? Those things with oxygen are a lot of times insoluble, okay? so. And then the other way you know is sodium chloride soluble or insoluble? So it's not the sodium chloride, right? Okay, so is this equation balanced? No, so we're going to have to balance it, right? Two, two. That's balanced now, right? Yeah. Okay, so they call that, in this case, they call it the formula equation. You might hear it the molecular equation. I often call it that. So we'll just call it the formula equation just to give it a different name to it. Okay, so the next thing we've got to do is the what? The total ionic equation, right? So anything that has aqueous, break it up. Remember, two subscript goes in front. Remember, this two is talking about both the sodium and the hydroxide. This thing stays as a precipitate together. Okay. Everybody okay with that one? So what are we going to do now? Cancel our spectators. Yes, very good. Spectators. So tell me, I'm going to put my hand underneath it and you say yes if it's a spectator, okay, or no if it's not. No. no. Yes. 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 No. 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 Yes. Yes. You guys are awesome. Why did you say those ones? Because they're on both they're sides. They're on both sides. Both sides of the equation, right? And of course the ratio is the same. Um, so now what do we do? Total our the net ion? So this is the actual reaction that's going on in this thing.
Everybody okay with that one? Do we have to write spectators down? Um, it just... asks. You know, I mean, in most of the ones that I posted on there, I like to ask it because you might as well ask everything. How did you know it was a double displacement form in the beginning? Um, how did I know? Well, all of these ones are double displacements when you're forming a precipitate. Well, say that you're forming a I mean, uh, so what did it say in this one? It says, uh, this one didn't necessarily say it, but you should know that when you react cobalt uh, chloride and sodium hydroxide, that's going to form a precipitate. Why would we know? Because cobalt hydroxide is insoluble, and you know your solubility rules. Uh, gotcha. Okay, so these are all, whenever you see these solubility rules is what they're pushing on you. Okay. This any, any other questions on this one? Pardon? Does precipitate always be always solid? Solid. Yes, solid, 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 solid. Yes, but solid. Any other questions? Quick, quick, quick.